Hi, I'm Valerie from Valerie's Photo Channel. In my last video, I showed you how to create and apply a copyright preset to your Lightroom photos. If you missed it, you can watch it here. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a watermark that will appear on top of your images when you export them. I make regular Lightroom tutorials, so to get them all, just subscribe to my channel. And if you want my free Digital Photography Basics ebook, then just click down below to get it. Now on to the tutorial. I want to mention again that your watermark is applied to your photos as you export them. It won't appear on your original photos. And like everything in Lightroom, it's easy to go back and change your watermark or create a new one. Let's go ahead and select a few images. So I'm going to select these images here and I'm going to right click and choose export and go to the export dialog box. Now we can choose a few things that we want to apply to our photos. So I'm just going to export them to my desktop and I'm going to give them a custom name sequence and let's just call them for my custom text watermark. Then let's scroll on down to, let's see, watermark right here and Typically, by default, it will be unchecked, so we want to create a watermark, so I'm going to click check the box for watermarks, and your default option is simple copyright watermark. So if you had previously created a copyright metadata preset, then it will pull that information from the creator field. So if you want to use this option, you can, and it will add a watermark text in the lower left-hand corner of your image, but there's no control over the placement or the size or the font or opacity. You have to stick with the default. So a better option would be to create your own. So I'm going to choose Edit Watermark from the drop-down menu, and this brings up this Watermark Editor dialog. Now you have two basic choices. You can, under the style here, you can create a text watermark or you can create a graphic watermark. And with the graphic, you can choose an image. You can choose either a PNG or a JPEG image from your computer and upload it as your watermark. So I'm going to go ahead and create a text watermark. And you have this space here you can see right now the default text is copyright and you can see that it appears in the lower left hand corner. Now you can make this anything you want so I'm going to just delete it and if you want to use the copyright symbol if you have a Mac hit option G. If you're on a PC you can just simply um, either use the parentheses and the C like this or if you have a side keyboard uh, on Windows, you can hit the Alt key and then type in 0169 and you should get the copyright symbol. And it's up to you how you want to do it. And then I'm just going to type in the year 2016 and my name. Oops. If only I could spell my own name, right? Okay, so you can see that um, we have a sample right here. This is where it appears. The default is in the bottom left-hand corner. But we have some other options. We can adjust the spacing and the size. So I'm going to, I'm going to skip over the text options right now, and I'm going to go down to the watermark effects. And you can choose the size. The default is 15. So you can use the slider if you want to make it larger or smaller. It's up to you. And I'm going to go with proportional fit, which means that it will appear um, proportionally, you know, about it'll look like this no matter what image size you have. So it will fill the space proportionally. Um, if you choose fit, it's going to sprawl it across or fill. It's going to look giant. So definitely you're going to want to keep with proportional. Um, for most people will anyway. And then if we scroll down to inset, inset lets you adjust the horizontal, 
horizontal and vertical spacing um, from the from the edges. So I want to move that in a little bit and I want to move it a little bit up from the bottom perhaps. So you can adjust that as you like. And then anchor, and you can choose the anchor point. So right now the anchor is set from the lower left hand corner. You can move it to the top, you know, to the bottom right, wherever you wish. And you can also rotate it like so. And all of that is up to you. So I'm just going to go ahead, well, let's just leave it right here in the bottom right hand corner. And then let's go back up to the text options. You can change your font. Um, my default happens to be Myriad Web Pro. You may have another one, uh, or you can choose from a number of different fonts. I just recommend that you keep it fairly simple and not too crazy looking. And you can change the style, um, bold italic or bold italic, and you can adjust the alignment. Um, or change the color. You can also choose to have a shadow and adjust the offset, which is how far um, the shadow is from your text. And if you don't want a shadow, you can uncheck that box. It's also a good idea to preview your watermark on a vertical image as well. See, I'm not sure if I like it on the right hand side and on a vertical. Um, so it might be image dependent. Um, but if you want to go ahead and change things, it's simple to change. So I'm just going to go ahead and change mine to the left hand, the left bottom corner. So whenever you're satisfied with the changes you've made, then just go ahead and click Save, and you'll be prompted to name your preset. I'm just going to call mine, um, let's call it 2016 bottom left, nothing fancy, and then click the Create button. And then now you'll see that this preset appears here under my watermarking drop-down menu. And I can go ahead and export my images. So now let's look at my images and we can check out the watermark. So that one looks okay. And let's look at another one. So that's how simple it is to create them. And then let me just show you a few more things. Let's go back to, into the export dialog. And I want to show you a couple other things here. So we're back in the export dialog. And so I already showed you, we can see um, under watermark, we can see our new watermark here. Now, if you want to create another one or if you want to edit it or rename it, just click on Edit Watermarks, and then go to this little drop-down menu here in the upper left, and you have some options. You can delete it, you can rename it. Um, say you wanna make some changes, then you can save the current settings as a new preset, um, or you can go ahead and re restore back to the default presets. So, and then also, as I said before, you can create a graphic preset uh, watermark and you have the same options obviously you're not going to be using the text but um, but with the graphics you can choose your own image and then you can adjust the size the proportion fit or fill and the inset and anchor etc just as you did with the text uh, watermark so that's how you create a watermark to put on your images when you export them Remember, your original image in Lightroom will not show the watermark. It only appears on photos that are exported. You can check out my other video on adding a copyright to your image's metadata if you want to add this to your image as well. I'm Valerie Getch, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this Lightroom video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to get more tutorials. Thanks again for watching.